The reason we like Cerakote is because of its ability to um, resist uh, temperature changes, still be flexible and be very hard and thin surface. So we set up our own Cerakote shop. We have a manager in that shop, his name is Rod and he is, in my opinion, the best in the world at metal finishing. Hi, I'm Rod with Aggressive Finishing. I'm going to take you on a little tour today. First step in the process of uh, Cerakoting is after the parts are machined, uh, they've been washed in warm water to remove any cutting fluids, so uh, the, the sand should fall off any, any cavities uh, that are on the product. In order for the Cerakote to properly stick, to the material. The surface finish of the material, of the chassis, needs an edge. Basically, it needs to have a somewhat rougher surface in order for the Cerakote to stick and grab onto it really well. The next step in the process is the uh, blast media. We use a uh, aluminum oxide 120 grit, and this gives us a uh, half a thou of blast profile. The Cerakote is only dry film thickness, one thousandth of an inch thick, so we never want the profile to be any, any greater than half of that thickness for maximum adhesion. So the next step in the process is to get it ready for paint. So at this stage, basically, it's just parts are brought, brought over from blast, they're blown off to remove any excess sand, and then hung on the carts getting ready for spraying. We have to precision weigh or measure every time that paint is mixed in order to achieve the correct results every single time and make sure that the chassis that we paint today matches a buttstock that you might purchase next year. When mixing the Cerakote, the painter is going to shake the can extremely well to get any lumps that may have settled from sitting. We mix the Cerakote by weight, not by volume. So once he has the correct weight from the scale of the A product, he then puts into the Cerakote's mixing calculator the weight of that product. By our ratio, which is 20 to 1, it will then give him the weight of the hardener that he needs to add. Once the paint has a catalyst in it, he'll then stir it well until it's uh, thoroughly mixed. And then we'll run it through the strainer. After the parts are fully prepped and ready for spraying, they're then brought over into the paint area where we have the applicator uh, apply the Cerakote. We're using the H-Series product, which is a catalyzed paint, and the equipment he's using is the LPH-80 pressure pot system with a 0.8 tip. When we started out, we had small fridge-sized ovens. Uh, we started with one, then we got another one. Uh, today, we have a walk-in oven. This oven is running at 300 degrees Fahrenheit and the product will go inside of it for one hour. MDT has an extremely high quality standard. So um, when this is being shipped, it is as perfect as it can be. After the parts come out of the oven and are cooled down where we can touch them, they're then QC'd. He'll be looking for any uh, mist paint, any defects, uh, maybe small dents, marks, uh, machine lines, anything that needs to be removed or repaired, um, even pro particles in the paint. So if, if it is a bad one, it'll be uh, fixed, blasted and repainted, uh, then come back around. And that's a quick tour of our process. Uh, thanks for watching.